is up guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been like i don't know like two weeks or something like that since i posted my last video but we have been moving hence my new setup oh hello there blue he just like jumped up on the foot of the bed but it's fine because i have a little blanket there for him anyway so today i am coming to you guys with a better late than never what's in my handbag i usually do these on sunday so that you guys can see everything that has been in my bag and like all this stuff but like i said i was moving this weekend and i just i didn't have it i didn't pre-record or anything like that so this is coming to you guys for a what's in my bag wednesday <laughs> okay so i got a new handbag last week let me give you a little bit of a backstory here you guys know last year 2000 i think i believe it was 2020 i got a vintage fendi zuka shoulder bag and I got that because I had been looking at some Fendi bags and I sent a photo of it to Mel Soldera, <clears throat> who to me is like the Fendi queen. And she was like, girl, yes, for that price, get that bag. So this year when I was looking for um, a handbag to get myself, I remembered a Fendi bag that I just love so, so much. And I remember seeing it a few years ago on a Mel Soldera luxury, like new things in my wardrobe video. So I was looking for this bag and I found it on Rebag. I found a red one and then I found this one, which I'll show you guys. <clears throat> and I ended up going with this one. So I got the, this is the Fendi Swirly Kanai in the medium size. So I wanted to get all of the specs on it right for you guys. So I wrote them down. So give me one moment though. Okay, so. The height of the bag is seven and a half inches. The width is 10 inches. The depth is four and a half inches. The chain strap drop is 17 inches and the top handle strap drop is four and a half inches. So this bag is a smooth leather. The inside is a microfiber, and then the hardware, as you can see here, is silver. So I think it's super cute because it says Fendi here and here, and this strap is um, detachable. And then it says Fendi in here. And what a lot of people don't realize is this long chain strap is also detachable. You can detach it through here. So that's really nice too, because you can get virtually any kind of strap that you want and you can put it onto this bag. So we do have um, right here, sorry guys, there was, we're still like in the midst of moving and there was like an issue with uh, some deliveries and stuff. Okay, so where was I? Oh, so then here where you open the bag, I do like that it is both silver and gold hardware. And then I like this swirly scalloped effect. Jeff hates that. A couple of my friends also think it's ugly, but I, I liked it. I thought it was very me. So this is the medium size, but as you can see, it is actually pretty large. And this particular Kanai, because of the swirl and the scalloped edge, retails for about 3550 Now, I have searched high and low for this bag so that I could link it below, and I cannot find another one on the resale market because this bag I did purchase from Rebag for an incredible deal incredible deal and then i had 10 percent off and then i had a hundred dollar credit so i got this bag for like i paid 744 dollars for this bag and it is authentic obviously like everything through rebag is authentic but um that is just a little bit on the bag so let's get into what is inside to open it you just push this right here and it just will open up like i said the inside is micro suede and then it is two pockets so let's just start with the front pocket. I'm going to put it like right here. I, okay, so I have my sunglasses in here. Um, these are usually not in my bag. I was wearing them to go grab lunch earlier and I had like so much going on that I forgot to take them out and put them in their case and I leave them in their case in my car. But these are just Tom Ford sunglasses. Uh, you know, I like big sunglasses. I, I love these. I'm actually going to keep those out. Um, I have my fancy compact mirror you guys know i love this mirror this side is like 10 times focused and then there's this side which is regular and it has it does light up so you can like it's just really good i have it in this color and i have it in black i've got my keys now in here i have 
my car key i just drive a volkswagen tiguan the key to my new apartment the key to my new mailbox the fob for my new gate and then the key for my parents place then i've got my card holder i'm like louied out over here um my card holder in here i just have my debit card my credit card some cash uh, my license i have this letter hold on let me see if i can show you guys i have this letter in here my dad okay it's i don't want it to like my dad wrote me this letter two days after my sixth birthday and it, my dad has like the best penmanship ever but um i so i just keep it i have it in my uh i keep it like with me in my wallet all the time because i'm sentimental like that i'm like so sentimental with things like that I might actually switch out of this wallet though and into a new wallet. And then in the middle here, I have, these were Jeff's vows to me from our wedding. Again, sentimental, so I have those as well. Then I have a receipt from Polo Tropical. <coughs> Again, we've been moving, so it's been like lots of fast food. I did cook last night though. But I have a receipt from Polo Tropical. We both got Tropy Chops and then a side of plantains. And then a receipt from Pristine Nails. I got my nails done this morning. Just like a French almond situation. Damn, I have a lot of receipts. Home goods, I had to uh, return some stuff. Um, what is this? Thai Express, we just had Thai food for lunch today. Um, okay, this is like embarrassing. At home, because I went and bought this headboard um, on Saturday before we moved into this new apartment. <laughs> we literally started moving in on Saturday. No, and on Sunday, I bought the headboard. Trader Joe's, because of course, after we moved in, I had to stock us up with some groceries. I got ground turkey, carne asada, chicken breast, chicken shawarma thighs, some flowers, a bottle of red wine, uh, two bottles of rosé, another bottle of red wine, and a bottle of sangria, roasted corn, mango chunks, frozen strawberries, and frozen pineapple tidbits, organic raspberries, cowboy caviar salsa, crumbled blue cheese, crumbled feta cheese, whipped cream cheese, salad, oh, this uh, cilantro salad dressing, Italian dressing, fire roasted red peppers. Oh, those were supposed to go on last night's salad. I knew I was missing something. Um, I got a uh, fig and balsamic salad dressing, shredded Mexican blend cheese, General Tso's stir fry sauce, um, six yogurt Greek vanillas, um, or vanilla greek yogurts six coconut cream greek yogurts organic garbanzo beans organic black beans uh jasmine rice a pound of strawberries four bananas uh two things of salad spring mix um stir fry asian vegetables a cucumber two extra large red bell peppers two extra large orange bell peppers two jumbo red onions a thing of mini grape tomatoes, a bag of apples, some Tuscan pan bread. Then I got dishwasher detergent and laundry detergent, uh, lavender chamomile hand cream, a bunch of pussy willows, and two, um, two peony tulips. I spent $197, which is crazy because for what I actually spent, $70 of that was tax. That is insane. Like, I've never even really paid attention to that, but that pisses me off now. I have this little stub from Amstop because we had to bring a money order for our deposit. I have a receipt from Walmart because this had to attach to a bed frame, so we had to buy a bed frame. I have a dry erase marker. I meant to put that on my fridge. And then I have an orange pen. And that is everything that's in that front compartment. Now, going in the back compartment, I have... This was my grocery list for Trader Joe's, so that can go in the trash. I've got this little disposable mask. I keep one in my car, like a real mask, and then I keep a mask in Jeff's car, and then I just have this like, oh no, I, I don't, for some reason my mask is gone. I keep this in there. 
Then I've got my kind of catch-all. This is the Louis Vuitton um, cosmetic case in the PM size. And here I've got the Tree Hut Sugar Lips Lip Butter. You guys know this was in my February favorites. Amazing. I have it on right now. And then I've paired it with the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Fortune Cookie. This was also in my February favorites. I like to mix these two together. I've got the Bath & Body Works 24-Hour Moisture Body Lotion in the Cactus Bloom. This stuff smells so good. While I was checking out at Trader Joe's yesterday, I put some on my hands because they were a little bit dry. And the guy who was checking me out and the guy who was um, running the register next to him both stopped and were like, what is that? Because it smells so, so good. My sister gave that to me, actually. Then I have this hand sanitizer. I have like seven of these because I had to get COVID tested back in like December. I think it was, or was it January? I don't know. I had to get COVID tested and they gave me like seven of these. Um, I have my inhaler. Allergy season is among us. I have my Smith's Rosebud Solve. This stuff is amazing. So, so good. I have the Morphe Glassified Lip Oil. I haven't been using this ever since I got that lip butter, but I keep it in there. Then I have three tampons and I have the NYX uh, blotting papers. And then what else is in my bag? And then I have the apartment key and mailbox key to our old place because technically we still have it for like another week. And I believe that's everything. Well, then in the back, I have like the rebag authentication card for this bag and this thing that we found moving, which like is for racer bag tops. You like do this with your bra and it like pulls it in, which is amazing. So that is everything in my handbag. As you guys can see, a lot fits in it. It's pretty spacious and this does expand. Um, you would think that with all this heavy or this uh, hardware, that it would be heavy, but it's not heavy at all. So this is literally probably the only bag that I'll be carrying for the next like God knows how many months because it's just everything to me. This bag literally just speaks to my soul. So if you guys have any questions about this bag, then go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Love you guys and have a good one. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, I'll see you.